Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, this is the first of the print tutorials and we've already done, we already printed variables but I just wanted to show you a couple extra things in this video and the next on what you can do with a print statement. So in this video I'm just going to show you when you're combining different variable types into a print statement you've got to make sure that you are changing them all into strings. So first of all how would I combine many different things? Well there's a couple different ways. Uh, so first, uh, let's look at creating some variables. So I'm going to create, I'm going to create a couple uh, numbers here, and I'm going to create a string. Now a string can be this, or a string can be this. And in fact, uh, Python doesn't really care what you use to create the string, but it does help you when, later on when you kind of want to differentiate things. I usually use single quotes because you don't have to press shift to get a single quote. The double quote you have to press shift down. It's just easier. just saves me all of like a, I don't know, a millisecond of time, I guess. Uh, and let's make a Boolean value. Okay, so let's say I want to print any of these out. If I want to print any of these out, it's pretty easy. I can just put that in there and it will print it out for me, no problem. But let's say that I want to print out red 42. So I can't just do this. It's going to say this variable is not found. So there's actually two ways you can do it. One, if I put a comma here, it will print these out with a space in between. And actually, I can print out as many of these as I, as I want just by doing that. Okay, so I can print out all of these like that using a comma. But let's say that for some reason I don't want a space in between them and I want it to say red 42 right next to each other. Well, if I do this, I'll do it with D this time, I can't get that space to go away. So I've actually got to use the plus sign. Now, the problem with the plus sign is when you use the plus sign in here, it thinks that this is going to be some sort of uh, some sort of addition statement, arithmetic statement, because this is a number. Let me go ahead and this is a number. I'm going to space these out a little bit so you can see better. And this is a string. So we've got a number and we've got a string. So we can't actually put a number and a string together unless want we change this to a number if we change d to a number if we could change it to a number then we could add it and we get a number for an answer if we could change this to a string it would actually put those two strings together and join them into one string which is called concatenation and we're going to learn a lot more about all the different things you can do with strings in just a minute Okay, and what I mean just a minute, it's actually going to be, I think it's the next set of videos, or maybe the set of videos after that. We learn all about strings and how to play with them. It's actually probably one of the more useful things when you're programming. Uh, concatenation is when you put two strings together into one. So it's kind of like adding a string, and that's really what it shows here. So there's two ways you can do this. Um, the first way, uh, I'm going to show you in this video, and later on when we get to the string section, I'll show you other ways to do this. Uh, if we convert this to a string, so this is earlier when we talked about how do I make something into a string type. Well, if I make something into a string type using str, I can do that like this, and now this becomes a string. And if we have string and string, and I run this, I'll get 42 red. If I switch these around, so I get red 42. Like I wanted, oops, put that back in there, boom, boom, okay, and I have red 42, okay, so I'm going to delete this line here, and we're going to put some more stuff together, so if I have uh, A, string A, plus string B, I will get 42.13, or if I want to put plus C, plus that. And notice I don't have to change C to a string because it already is a string, so there's no big deal there. So this is like saying, this is a string, string. Now if I took one of these out, 
it's going to give me an error because now this is back to being an integer. So you can actually mix things up however you want. You can also, for example, if I made another print statement, I could say uh, C plus space is my favorite color. So this is already a string right here. And this is C. So I says red is my favorite color. Um, you can do, uh, you could even do something say like this, like, uh, is it E? Now I still need to change this to a string because a Boolean value is still not a string. Boolean value, if you remember, is going to be actually an integer. So in this case, E is one. So let's see if I put string E. Okay. And I put a question mark. Whoops. Forgot my plus sign there. So is it true? Okay. I can put that in there like that. Um, so the print statement, uh, there's a lot of different other things you can do with this. Uh, there's another whole different type of formatting. And I'll leave a link to this on the website, uh, leftpeel.com. Uh, so you can check it out if you want. I'm not going to do that in these videos. You just really need to know this basic type of how to put uh, strings and numbers and everything together. Because later on, when we start creating small programs, you're actually going to want to put all of this stuff together into one. Okay. Uh, next video, though, I'm going to show you how to format it. So by formatting, I mean we're going to make this look really nice. Maybe you want nice columns of numbers or something like that. If you want nice columns and numbers, then you're going to need to learn how to format, uh, and that's using the escape sequences. So we'll get to that in the next video. In this video, just remember, if you want to print something that is not already a string, you have to convert it to a string. If you want to put two different variables together, or two different types together, you have to convert them both to strings, and then you can add them up, and it will create one long string. All right? Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.